So, I've set myself a big challenge. I'm lazy and I find that in a week it's so hard to make food. It's currently Sunday. So I'm going to make myself all my food from Monday to Friday this week. Now, basically I'm doing the meal prep for a week challenge. But I don't want to be boring. So I've got myself some pretty exciting meals, I must say. You'll see what they are. Well, they're not that exciting, but they're a bit exciting, you know? <laughs> um, but first things first, let's get the veggies going, innit? Am I still going to cut this somewhere? That looks ominous, doesn't it? I'm making one, two, three, four different meals. Different. I'm making five different types of meal. Ambitious, I know. I'm making three pesto and pastas. I'm making two. I'm literally cutting so violently, I'm knocking my phone over. I'm making two, um, what's called sweet potato Tex Mex or something, and making two life jacket sweet potatoes, and I'm making two couscous salads, and then I'm making two things of taco. But one of those things tacos is for today. I don't know. I can't bother to cut another one. I'll just cut another one. No, I was not born to be in the kitchen. Not, not for me. But I'm bored. I'm very, very bored of eating salad every single day. When I come home from uni, I'm literally so tired. And I get I have to do my homework. There's no time to cook. So if I do all my cooking now, maybe I'll have a really good week because I'll be eating all the good foods, you know? Then it also means I can't buy any takeaways because I've already made all my meals. That was a lot of effort. Yummy. Because I'm making so many meals, there's so many things to keep track of, and I don't know if I have the capability to be honest with you. How long did it take to make rice? 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, but rice you can just leave to go cook, can't you? I might as well just do my rice and pasta now. Got it bang on, two, two, five, go me. Right, we've now got a bit of this going in the oven. Got the rice going in there. So, this is so this is gonna be like my snack for the week. It's carrots and cucumber. I've got hummus in the fridge just ready to snack on, all chopped up ready, so then I can't be tempted to eat bad things in hummus because they're already cut up. Because these are now already cut up, yeah. You might be able to tell I have a small lunchbox addiction problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's eleven. There's a pot twelve over there. Thirteen. What kind of person am I that I need 13 lunch boxes? Oh well. Okay, so my rice and pasta are done. I'm leaving them to chill over here. I'm very excited because three meals are done and it's starting to come together. Yeah, three meals. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is meal number one. Pasta and pesto with peas. Not that exciting, but I mean, I'm going for some risky meals here, so... This is just going to be, I know I'm going to like this. So I'm, you know, feeling good, feeling good. I think I've done it. I started doing this like an hour and 40 minutes ago. Mate. Look at that. I am so unbelievably proud of myself. 
Okay, let's have a little tour. So we've got two couscous salads. We've got three pasta and pestos. We've got two, um, you can't actually see it because it's hidden by all stuff, but jacket sweet potato with rice, rocket, lettuce, guac, um, sweet corn and tortilla chips, two of them. Uh, and then I've got tacos here. This is the tacos and then I've got the filling. I didn't have a big enough pot. So in here I've got salsa, sour cream, sweet corn, tomatoes, um, onion, all to go in these. So I'll just make them, but I mean it's prepped. And then these last two meals, this is one meal because this is one lunchbox, is um, like sweet potato and onion with rice, rocket, lettuce. Um, yeah, quite similar to these, but like this instead of like a sweet jacket potato sort of thing and then i've got this as a snack and then i've got loads of fruit and stuff as a snack um oh yeah so these are the tacos like separate but i'm having some now for my dinner and this is what they'll eventually look like so yummy uh the kitchen is an absolute mess not looking forward to cleaning that one up but i won't have to do any cleaning up all week except for these pots took me two hours It'll save me a lot of time over the week, I think. I managed to Jenga with the fridge and it's very, very full. Okay, I've organised when I'm going to have everything. Um, I've left these two to the last two because I feel like they'll stay fresh-ish for the longest. So I'm having porridge for breakfast and luckily all my fruit is pre-prepared. Pre Head. Right, so Sophie, what do you think of my lunch? Um, I would give it a solid like 7 out of 10. Why? Because you've got lots of stuff that I like. We've got sweet then... potato and everything. You see, I didn't see the sweet potato, so I might give it like 7 and a half. Ooh. So, yeah, you're getting there. It's good. Mm, thank it's you, nice. thank you. I'm so happy because I've just come home from a long day and I have rugby this evening. And my dinner is already ready and I don't have to rush making dinner and getting ready because I can just eat this and go to rugby. Ah, oh, yes! I just got home from uni. I've already demolished my meal before I even filmed it. Sorry about it, but basically, I was so ravenous that I just demolished it. I'm so happy that... I could eat it straight away because otherwise I wouldn't have had a meal. Like I put this in the microwave for literally one minute. It's a monster. It took me one minute to make my food. Usually, like, oh, I literally can't imagine still be making food now because I just had dance and we did like fitness and ballet and my legs are aching. I've got pesto in my teeth. My legs are aching and I can't imagine me stood up right now. So I'm very happy that I can just eat my food straight away. Oh, you know what? I think I'm converted. I think I am converted officially to the meal prep life. Honestly. It's the problem is it's finding the motivation to do it on a Sunday. But the rest of the week is just full of rewards. All the rewards. So that's all I have to say on that. Hello everyone. So, I kept meaning to film every single one of my meals. But by the time I got to it, I was just so hungry that I demolished it and ate the whole thing before I filmed it. And I was like, right, I'm definitely going to film my last meal because it's the last one. And I'm eating it. But I demolished it and ate it before I even thought about it again. Of course I did. So, here's just a little conclusion for you. I am really glad that I've meal prepped this week. Positives, like, as you can tell, I was so hungry because I was wolfing down my meals straight away every single day but before even thinking about filming them because I was that hungry. Um, and B, uh, I didn't spend much money at all this week on food. Yeah. The only problem with it is, even though I cook, like, loads of different meals it was still so boring eating the same thing like I don't like eating the same thing more than once a week really 
was really boring. So I'm kind of glad I did it. Next to my meal prep, I think I'll try and vary my meals a bit more, which is hard. But I think I'm going to stick to meal prepping at least my lunch for uni, because then I can't be tempted to buy lunch in uni. But I think meal prepping 10 meals a week is just too much for me. Anyway, in conclusion, meal prep is good. If you have the time, do it. Um, yeah, so, thanks very much for watching. Uh, see you next time on Jabber with Jana. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell, you know, all that jazz. You know what to do. And I just really love if you comment down below and tell me what videos you want to see. Because I need ideas, you know. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.